I'm Michael Andrew, and today we're going to be talking about tripods and investing your money into getting a good tripod and a good camera mount. These are two different things. The tripod is the stand, and the mount is what you connect your camera to and then to the tripod. And a tripod will allow you to position your camera in a fixed position. So if you're shooting with slower or longer shutter speeds, a tripod is something that you're definitely going to need. If you're shooting a, you know, a very long exposure and trying to hold it with your hand, you're going to be moving around or maybe your subject will be moving and this will cause some blur in your image. So a tripod allows us to position our camera without having it move. If you shoot in a studio or if you're shooting group shots, it makes it easier. It's a, con it's a matter of convenience just to have a camera there and you can move people around and just come back and push the shutter button down, you know, because all the settings should be the same as last time. So if you know, you know that something's working, there's no need to change it. That's another reason. Uh, another reason is sometimes the camera just gets heavy. You know, if you're a wildlife photographer and you know where, you know, certain types of animal life are, you may not want to hold the camera there the whole time waiting for the animal to show up. You can just kind of, you know, put it on your tripod and, and wait for them to show up. So there, there are many, many applications for having a good tripod. If you are a beginner and you're just starting to think about buying one, you're going to be tempted to run down to Walmart and buy one of these, these little cheapy tripods that they have there. Don't do it. It's a waste of money. And I'll tell you why. Number one, they're flimsy, which means they're going to break soon. Number two, the tripod legs and the mount are fused together, so you can't swap these out. Uh, a professional grade tripod will allow you to remove the mount from the tripod. So there's a number of different, they call them heads, there's a number of different heads that you can put on the tripod legs according to whatever it is you need. Now some of the qualities of your tripod when you're getting a, your first professional grade tripod that you need, con need to consider are, number one, obviously costs. You can spend anywhere from a hundred to two or three thousand dollars for a great set of uh, tripod legs. So cost, how much money do you have? What is it made out of? These are made out of steel and a lot of the higher end tripod legs are made out of something called carbon fiber. It's very strong and it's also incredibly light. So that's another thing you might want to consider. Uh, durability. That's something you want to think about. How strong or sturdy is it? And then uh, the actual size. If you travel a lot, you, you need to make sure that you have some, you know, a bag or something that you can fit it into. This one I have to break down to, to fit it into my duffel bag, but so far it's been pretty cool. Uh, the model of the tripod that I use is the Bogan Manfrotto 3021N. Costs about 160 or 170 bucks. For the ball head, I use the 486 RC2 with this quick mounting plate. It's very handy. This runs about 60 or 70 bucks. So for about 220, 230 dollars, you can get a really great starter set. And I'm very happy with this. I use it all the time. Something I really like about ball heads is the fact that you can take your camera and you can drop it into the mounts and it locks down. So if I'm gonna show you this again, with this facing the camera, maybe you can see this a little bit better. Towards me, comes in like this, and it locks down. This is a safety switch, we'll lock that into position. So this is going to allow us to move the camera around and to lock it into different positions very quickly and very effectively. Eventually, there's gonna come a point when you're gonna to want to upgrade. You might want some lighter legs, maybe some carbon fiber legs, or you might want a really great ball head. Those are very nice. They're expensive and heavy, but they're very, very nice. But once you get the, the swing of it, you'll have a better idea of what you're looking for. Now, there are some other options you might want to consider. This little guy called a Joby Gorillapod. And there are some off brands, but I typically buy these from Joby themselves. It's a mini tripod, and obviously it's not gonna work for a big camera, a big SLR, but I do a lot of point and shoot photography, and this allows you to attach a miniature portable tripod to your point and shoot, and then you can use it to, to like kind of grab onto stuff. I mean, they're really, 
quite adaptable and they're pretty reliable. So you could go out and take a picture of something, you know, if you're doing a self-portrait or something, this allows you to be much more creative and flexible with a point and shoot camera. This runs about 12 bucks, 12 or 15 bucks. I have a couple of them, one in my car, one in my bag for my point and shoot. I also have a big one for my camera and it's actually the one I'm using to film this right now. I'll take a picture and put it on there. And I use, I think it's the SLR Zoom model and I think that runs about 60 or 70 bucks as well. So that's the tip for today on investing into a good sturdy tripod and a good ball head. And I'm Michael Andrew, and I look forward to seeing you again.